Man United v Arsenal has wrapped up. Here is my reaction to the game. Hope you enjoyed the game. What did you think about the game? And what are your thoughts going forward? Arsenal win three goals to two against Manchester United with Rashford, Martinez scoring, and Ketia, I believe, got two. And. And um, I've absolutely blanked out on the other goal score. But the point being is, did. We deserve to win, and that is a simple no. You know, I, I was watching. Um, uh, oh, Bakari, oh yeah, oh yeah, Bakari Saka got a screamer, of course. Um, I was watching someone on TikTok, you know, who re reviews and reacts to the game. I won't say who, but of course, they were just so biased while watching the game. We were the worst team. Arsenal dominated in the first half. We had we had elements of our game that were decent in the first half, but we didn't turn up in the second half. Arsenal were all over us. Veghorst playing for 90 minutes is the biggest disgrace in football. He is shit. People saying, oh, his hold-up play was good. Oh, his passing was good. He's a striker. He's a striker. You're not Harry Kane, who can have hold up play and score goals. You're meant to stand up there, wait for the ball to come to you. If you're not involved in the game, I'm still going to call you shit until you put the ball in the back of the fucking net. Anthony, he had a better game than his previous ones, but it's still mediocre. It's still below a three. He passes simple. <clears throat> he overcomplicates it. Um... <clears throat> Um, he's passing at times, he holds onto the ball sometimes too much, he can't go past his own players, he can't cross, he can't use his right foot, he's just a horrible player to watch. Him and Veghorst, it's like having one player up front, and Rashford didn't do much today. A brilliant, brilliant goal, I'm going to put that out there as our, uh, for, for Rashford, but he was one-dimensional, he was barely doing anything with the ball, he didn't bring anything to the attack, but I'm not going to blame him completely, because the other two are useless pieces of shit. Two people who can't play football, uh, Ericsson was okay at the start of the game. He was very poor and he got into the game slowly. Bruno didn't really get utilized too much. And McTominay didn't do much wrong in comparison to what I thought he was going to do. But again, he was still mediocre. And Martinez, um, I say it was a good goal. It was a fantastic goal, but it was a good goal. Very um, intelligently worked. Uh, him, Varane were decent enough to keep players out at times, but not obviously enough to make us not lose. Luke Shaw was absolutely atrocious. He was getting bullied and he's, he was taking too long. His passing was atrocious. He just wasn't on it today. Bam Saka wasn't as good as the previous games, but he was still clinical at times, still kept the ball out of that box. Day was okay. You know, he made a few... Uh, his... Distribution was a bit poor, but altogether, he's the reason why we kept it at 2 2 for a while. But we, we should have even had two goals. Rashford was a part of a failure moment that ultimately curved from the, the defenders, and Ramsell just didn't anticipate it. And Martinez was, um, again, a very lucky goal. You know, Saka's was a fantastic goal, and Ketier's. Both of his goals were very well played. Their passing and play and the way they went through this game was fantastic. It, it was like an 80-20. They had 80% of passing and possession and playing properly, and they looked like a better team. It was only at 20% of the time I was interested in watching United because we had a couple of attacks, nothing clinical, nothing lethal. Bar Rashford's shot, I don't think we had a clinical shot. Veghorst playing that long, I'll say this again, he's criminal. Bring on Outrod. He was playing like a defensive midfielder role at one point. Like, I don't know if he's been moved or something, but like you're on that pitch to be a striker. Don't sign a striker and waste our time with loney players. And especially, why is Martial? It's pathetic. It's honestly or pathetic. You're at Mar Man United. Vegos needs fucking flogging off at the end of the season, not signing. Martial needs fucking binning off. He's out too much. He's injured too much. And when he comes back, he's not on it. You know, it's ridiculous. I know it's Arsenal. I know it's a crazy thing. But of course, it's it's standards. It's like, why have you signed Vegos, you ha of which we had to pay three mil, in which uh, Depay was three million to buy for a three-year deal or something like that he signed with Atletico. For the same amount they loaned a player, they could have bought a player who's actually played at United, who's 28, who's not a bloody giant trying to chase every bloody ball, who can't run or has an acceleration. Anthony's just a skillful idiot who can't go past his player. And people call out Sancho for this for so long. 
United are really bad in places. The fo- the weird thing is the midfield. I don't have many issues with. I mean, yeah, they got broke apart. I mean, th- th- that's what I'm saying. Like we expected them to get broke apart. But when you have nothing going up front, you're just gonna struggle. Rashford just so wrong with Rashford. I don't know. He just every time it went near him, he just didn't look lively. He didn't look into it. Bar the one where he destroyed party, but the rest of the time he just didn't. It's like he was worried about making a mistake or something. I don't know what it was. You could just tell he just wasn't fully with it. But, of course, a loss, a three number three points for Arsenal. We uh, exceeded in the 90th minute, something like that. And, ultimately, we um, we stay in fourth. Uh, you, you know, we, we, we should be getting top four. But, again, never say never. We're only hit the 20th game. There is another 18 games to go. We could still drop out of the top four. Other teams are coming closer and faster with Brighton and Brentford and Tottenham. Fulham are around there, you know, City and Chelsea, Liverpool and Chelsea, will they, do, will they do something? Who knows, you know, so we have to get our shit back together, we have to play better than that, and uh, yeah, I mean, Odegaard, I don't even think it was, I mean, Odegaard was brilliant, don't get me wrong, Partey was fantastic, Jacka was great, Saka, bloody hell, it's sure on a biscuit, uh, and Ketia, what a player, what a player, they just they have such squad depth, and Tommy Yasu was so much better than Ben White when he came on, a simple case, just play Tommy Yasu going forward, hence why he was your main right back last season, um, but yeah, that's all I have on today, um, needs to be better, we have a couple of cup games coming up, and then back to Palace in the Premier League, which obviously will be a tough game, but it's back at Old Trafford, so you'd expect a result, but Ten Hag needs to do better with tactics, getting Veghorst off that pitch a lot sooner. I mean, he didn't even get him off the pitch at all. Fred coming off the pitch, onto the pitch, didn't really do much. And of course, just we need more depth. Martial being injured is just not a helping. Donny being injured as well isn't a help. And Dalit being out as well also affecting things. But of course, you don't think he'd be playing at the moment because Wamasaka is currently better as a defender, whereas Dalit's better going forward, in my opinion. And that is it for today. Check out my next uh preview and review in the next few days of course thanks for watching as always subscribe and like and i'll see you next one goodbye